Students attending prom this weekend won't have to worry about the weather, but they will have to pass a test before they can get into the dance. Gabriel Rojas is in Prosper, where students will be checked at the door to make sure things don't get out of control. Well, students and their parents spend a lot of money on prom, but now for students here, the price of admission is a score of zero on a breathalyzer test. We usually think of a breathalyzer test as something administered on the side of the road, but this year Prosper High School students will take one at the entrance to their prom. This is going to cause them to think twice about doing the wrong thing on prom and taking alcohol or doing drugs before they step foot in the prom facility. Stephanie Parker thinks it's a great idea that comes just in time for her daughter's prom experience. She's not alone. The policy has been getting praise from a lot of parents we met, like Michael Pettis, whose son will also be going to prom Saturday night. These kids have an unbelievable life up here. And for them to sit there and screw it up for uh, one night and, and, and cause either damage themselves or somebody else or kill somebody else or themselves is not worth it. A Prosper ISD spokesperson tells us the new policy is not in response to any specific problem, but in a written statement says, quote, it is the campus's belief that the benefits of utilizing the breathalyzer at such voluntary events like prom will hopefully provide an additional layer of safety. I, I do believe that the kids uh, will think twice maybe about, you know, drinking alcohol or doing drugs be because they're going to get the breathalyzer test. However, not every student is quick to embrace the plan. Prosper High School senior Austin Jacob will be going to the prom and thinks the breathalyzer is unnecessary. I mean, I think they should trust us a little bit. I mean, I think we're all grown up now, kind of. So, I mean, I trust myself to be home safe. And the Saturday's prom will be at South Fork Ranch, which is, about, which is about a 45 minute drive from here. So, some parents tell us that's all the more reason to make sure kids haven't been drinking before they get behind the wheel either to get there or to come home. We're live in Prosper. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.